All right, here we have the Unify U7 Pro XGS. Uh, this will be replacing my AP that's currently a outdoor AP, the U7 Pro Outdoor. Um, that's gonna be actually deployed to a client. Um, this one is for my house. And let's get it unboxed. This is obviously the new design, uh, or the flagship AP that Ubiquity came out with. There's the side, top, and side again. Let's get this cracked open. All right, I'm gonna pull the seal. All right, like this. There we go. Got the seal pulled. Crack this open. Apologize about the lighting. I'm working on getting studio lights. Almost looks like it just slides out like so. Interesting way that they're doing the boxes now. It's, normally, it's not usually like this. I kind of like it. And it like folds out just like so. Interesting. And it does have this plastic cover on here still. So when you're mounting, so you don't get your fingerprints and dirty hands all over it. Um, here's the back. Now this supports uh, one, two and a half, five, and ten gigabit Ethernet. Um, it looks like, from what I recognize, it's PoE plus plus power. Now, I don't have a plus plus power supply, so I'm gonna have to run down to my truck and get a injector for that. So we'll put that off to the side right now. You got a little mounting, mounting plate, drill plate. You got the one for the drop ceiling, and then you got the actual plate that it will mount onto. You have uh, some miscellaneous screws, uh, with some more screws. You finally get some wing tips for the uh, actual like drop ceiling mount itself, which is really nice to have because these come in way handier than actually drilling through in a uh, drop ceiling tile. Here's the drop ceiling tile screws, or per se, whatever. Uh, they want this is the key to actually slide around and unclip the little clip right here for that and just some documentation okay let me uh run downstairs and grab a uh uh injector for this guy i'll be right back okay i went and got a poe injector that would supply enough power for this access point so let me Plugged it in now. This piece does come off, by the way. Um, so if you want to do a cable down instead of through, it can just be covered up and popped out just like that. So we'll just go and plug this in. Flip it over. It's got a nice heel light. The ones, like the E7s, um, they're light, the square ones, the new square ones, they have a halo light around the bottom, not on the top or the front facing, as you can see. All right, let's switch over to the Ubiquiti dashboard and get it adopted. Okay, so we're here in the dashboard. Um, they already showed up. Um, this, I don't, I have a cloud key, but I use it for testing. This is actually on a controller, which I have DNS forwarded out to my controller URL um an ip so i'm able to see it on adopt right away so i'm going to go ahead and click adopt and it's going to go ahead and adopt it I'll let that run through its process meanwhile let me pull up the spec sheet for the actual x7 or u7 sorry so the u7 pro i believe has eight streams or 10 streams let me double check yeah so eight streams of wi-fi 7 uh it can do tri radio at the same time so all the way up to six gigahertz and now with six gigahertz it's uh, a lot shorter wavelength which means it can't penetrate walls very well so you really want to put these where your bigger devices they're going to be using more bandwidth uh, that need a higher speed throughput per se and it can support up to 500 devices per AP and a dedicated radio um, spectrum analyzer, which we'll cover here in a second once this is finished uploading. 
I am going to disconnect my other GP. Now I will be doing a network rack rebuild here pretty soon. There we go. We'll get this going. So it will update. We'll let this update. We'll go through a few more specs with you. So dedicated signal, um, Wi-Fi 8 spatial streams. And so really in reality, this is like the flagship flagship for kind of SMBs, not necessarily enterprise for enterprise. You'll want to do the U7, um, which is better for more uh, or E7, excuse me, more stadium, more people, etc. But this will fit perfectly for even enterprise, small business. Um, Ubiquity also does now have a U7 Lite, which is really nice. 100 bucks, uh, no six gigahertz radio, but it does support Wi-Fi 7. In order to get that six gigahertz, you got to set set up to the U7 Pro, which is, I believe, 299 or 199, 189. There you go. Now only has two and a half gig. So we'll go over to here. It's probably updated by now. Not quite. Let me, once this is fully up to date, uh, let me get back with you and we'll go from there. Okay. It updated. We are good to go. Um, I need, so I haven't configured this for six gigahertz yet. So I'm going to go ahead and go into here. We're just going to turn on six gigahertz. This will probably kick off a few of my devices because it's WPA2 and 3. I'll have to create a separate VLAN tag for my slightly older devices. Um, I am going to run an iProof test. I honestly don't have a uh, Wi-Fi 7 device currently. Um, it's getting ready. So the device nice is because there's a spectrum analyzer so let's do this real quick environment so it's under you know the ap it's getting ready we'll give it a second it has a dedicated radio for analysis so it can automatically switch um channels if you need it to which is nice because if you're in a busy environment for wireless devices that can be extremely handy with a dedicated radio so it can just doesn't need a scan and utilize. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, this is actually probably an hour later. Uh, the, so the spectrum analyzer, uh, analysis takes actually a very long time and actually didn't complete. And I have some other things I need to do the, uh, for the airtime scan, this takes a good long time. Normally this is about five minutes. Uh, it's been in, been about an hour and filming other stuff um so here it did do the spectrum so here's the it's still analyzing or doing other stuff that will constantly do that um but here is a bunch of the other wireless signals that it's picking up it's detecting the channel name um then you know that's for five gigahertz as well uh, i can see everything it looks like 48 near me um six gigahertz luckily there's not much over um, where I'm at. So that's nice. So I can have quite a bit of speeds. I do have an iPerf test set up. You can also pack packet capture in here. Obviously the iPerf won't be super detailed. The only device that I have that is capable of connecting to six gigahertz is actually six E. So it's going to be slightly less speeds, but got it open here. So let's go ahead and get it going. I'm going to start the client on my phone. And then we're going to hit for the server listening. Let me do that again. Here we go. So my, it's about getting a gig, which, or it's peaking at a gig, which is really impressive for Wi-Fi, and it's 6E, so it's not even Wi-Fi 7, um, which is, really nice let's just do it's obviously it's sitting it's not sitting on my desk my phone's on this desk of an l it's sitting uh it's directional buds over here um so let's let's just do one more we'll do two streams we'll start 
So that's two streams so it's by because honestly so that's impressive just over Wi-Fi that we've gotten to this point where you can have gigabit speeds just over wireless is it's impressive obviously that that depends if you have line of sight of the device otherwise it's probably going to switch over to five gigahertz um you'll still have pretty good speeds on five gigahertz but let's go here and it's going to auto provision everything it shows how many you know retries what the db is transmit etc it's very nice that ubiquity has incorporated this especially with the new packet capture directly from a device you can actually they plan on implementing a per device pack, packet capture instead of like global packet capture which is i gotta i gotta give creds where it is due so i think that's gonna wrap up this video um we have we do multiple things for our clients if you're interested in hiring us uh you can go to our website at mbnisp.net there and then you can contact us or give us a call and we'll be happy to assist you with your ubiquity needs and or your phone needs give us a call appreciate it have a good one guys see you later bye